Hello and welcome to the TomCast. I'm Tom, President and Dictator for Life of 515comics.com. And on today's episode, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how I go about making my webcomic Nextus. Just sort of the process of start to finish each page. Uh, so, basically, I, uh, I don't really know if I do it differently from a lot of people. I, I don't really know. But, but the thing is, is that I don't actually know how a lot of people make comics. So, maybe everybody does it the way I do. Maybe people do it a lot differently than I do. Maybe I do it pretty stupid. That's totally possible. But anyway, <laughs> that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, so, uh, for starters, I write a script for each chapter. Each chapter, I hope that it's at least about 20, 22 pages long. Some of them have been a lot longer than that. I don't actually write it out panel by panel, um, or page by page even. I, I just kind of write it out uh, as you would, say, a, a play script. Um, I was in drama a lot in high school, and so I based my writing of the scripts for the comic on what I remembered the the dialogue and blocking looking like in uh, in the actual play scripts that I read in high school. I'll I'll try and get some stills of of like pictures of everything that I'm talking about today. I don't really know how that works as far as overlays go. We'll see if I figure it out. I'm counting on your future, Tom. Anyway. <laughs> So the first thing that I do is write a script, obviously. Now, that seems obvious to me now, but at the at, in college, when I first started doing comics, like when I first started doing web comics that would become Nextus, I didn't write scripts. I was like, eh, I'll just do whatever I want and just make it funny or whatever. And that didn't really work. Uh, if you don't know, this version of the comic, the comic at nextuse.com right now, is actually the third attempt at that story slash characters. Like, characters have been in at least two other stories. I'm kind of saying this weird. <laughs> characters that appear in Nextuse now have been in at least two other comic attempts that just didn't make it. And I attribute that almost entirely to the fact that I did not have a written plan for them, and so it was just kind of winging it as far as making the pages goes. So now, I actually have a script written out. I will write out the entire chapter script. I might revise it a few times myself. Then I'll let Professor Trey take a look at it, see what he thinks about it. Uh, you know, Trey has the added advantage when he's reading through it to know some of the future of the comic and so if he gets excited about things like I get excited about them when I'm writing them because it alludes to something that's going to happen later I know I'm on the right track. So after I've got a script figured out I will just start drawing the pages as they come. Uh, people might not realize this but I actually do each page on the day that it comes out. <laughs> Every now and then I'll actually get ahead of myself and you know, have one in the tube ready for the next update, but I'm kind of impatient. If I had a lot of comics ready to go, I would just want to post them all right away. I really want to tell the story, and so it's usually enough drive for me to actually just get the page done on the day that it needs to come out, because if I don't, I am not telling the story. Ah! <laughs> it's actually a really big motivator for me. Um... And so each page is just done on the day. So for example, I'm recording this on Thursday. It's three in the afternoon and I just about a half hour ago finished posting today's page. So I'll be using today's page as an example for everything. Um, so basically start to finish, it can take anywhere from two to four hours. I don't really time myself too much. I just make sure that I've got enough time try not to do a whole lot of other stuff until it's actually done. I just kind of make the comic my priority during the day. So, because I have the entire chapter scripted out, basically I just take it apart in little chunks. So, each page I just sort of read through and use about four to six lines from the script and just try and have a complete thought. 
I try not to leave pages hanging on like, you know, I, I want each page to kind of have a break, you know, the, they're all continuous, obviously, and they all need to be read back to back, but, but I like each one to kind of have a complete thought if I can help it, you know, so that's why some pages have three panels, some pages have six panels, and most pages have just four or five. It's not because I want to have the variation or anything. It's really just how can I fit this single idea on a page and what's the most interesting way I can do it. So that brings us to the actual layout of the page. As soon as I've determined what all is going to be on today's page, I will take a piece of graph paper like this. It's just lined graph paper. Uh, I love using it because it makes it really easy for my style of panels, which are just squares floating in space. <laughs> uh, you know, I just I I just kind of draw them all out as I go one at a time, and uh, and yeah. So the page is just pencil drawn and ends up looking a little bit like this. This is the page that I did for Thursday. Hey, look at that. So I don't use any special kind of pencil or even any special kind of graph paper, really. Just anything I've got, anything I can find. Um, don't use a lot of special art tools for that particular part of the process. Um, so yeah, that's step one. <laughs> step two, I don't know what step we're on. I wasn't doing steps, oh my god. <laughs> anyway. So now that I've got the page drawn in pencil, uh, I move on to the inking process. Let's see if I can reach this thing. Oh god. A bunch of crap. All right. So yeah, old school. Um, someday I would love to be able to ink digitally. I, I think that that's what I would like to do at some point. But until then, uh, I use the Sharpie pen again real fancy here. The Sharpie pen, uh, let's see, is that is fine tipped Sharpie pen. And then a piece of printer paper, just white printer paper, again, only the best. And this little white tracing board, which let's see what this does to my camera here. Oh my god! Ah. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah! So that's how I ink. Uh, I just trace over the lines with the Sharpie pen and try and not screw it up so much that I don't have to clean it up later when I scan it in. Uh, I've got that page right here. So that's what uh, that's what the page ends up looking like. Really bad at handling things. Have to look at the screen. Anyway, so that's what it ends up looking like. As you can see, I don't actually draw the panels on. I used to actually ink all of the panels as well. Like I would ink the box around the panel. Uh, and I think it was Maddie that actually showed me that he didn't do that when he inked his comics because he, he used to at least uh, ink his comics much the same way. I think he might be doing it digitally now. Hmm. But uh, maybe not. Or I might be lying, I don't remember. But anyway. I think it was he who showed me that uh, you can just put little guidelines in there and then draw them in later once you've scanned it in. So that's what I do now. I've been doing that for a really long time. And it's great. Uh, if you look at some of the early pages of Nextus on the website, you might even be able to spot that, uh, that some, of the, some of the graph lines are not always perfectly straight. And so <laughs> sometimes there will be panels in those, those early, like, first three or four chapters probably that uh just a, a little off just a little off it's kind of hilarious but uh anyway so that's inking hey we're moving on all right <clears throat> holy shit this is already 10 minutes wow i guess i'm gonna cut this into two episodes so i've gotten to the inking process and uh i guess next week maybe we'll talk a little bit about the actual Scanning, coloring, editing, adding text, and posting aspects. Ah, it'll be fun. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So, uh, oh, I, I'm really surprised. I kind of thought I'd fly through this and it wouldn't be that long. Anyway, 
I want to thank you very much for watching, and I guess I'll see you next week, and we'll finish up this little primer on how Tom draws his comic. Ha! So, anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Here's the process. After I've got the script, obviously, I just start drawing. Uh, well, yeah, that's, uh, hmm, that's good. That's good. Yeah, you just start drawing. No, that's good. That makes a lot of sense. Good idea.